And hello, everyone. I have a question for you today. How's everybody doing today? My question for you today is, what is up, dogs? You can see he's here saying hello to you guys. So hello, happy Sunday. Uh, good to see you today. Uh, before we start class, um, today is a very fun class because we're working on uh, movement drills. We're going to be learning how to move a little faster, move a little better. And we're also remembering to show discipline. So let's stand at attention. Bring your hands and uh, feet together, standing up here and bow with our life skill of discipline. And say it out loud, say it strong, say it proud, say it loud. Discipline is to obey what is, to obey what is right, especially your parents, okay? So make sure you're listening to your parents at home and because uh, they're your teachers and your best friend and, your, and, your, and definitely your parent right now. So they're telling you all the things that you need to do. So make sure you're listening. All right, let's go and get ready to uh, start class today. All right, what we're gonna do, our first movement drill, we're gonna step back with one foot back, one hand up, chin down, this hand up. And what I want you to do is we're going to work on this little movement where I'm just sliding my feet side to side. Let's see if you guys can do that. Watch me. So I'm just having my hands up, but I'm just going to slide side to side. Can you guys do that? Let's see how fast you can do it. Try to stay with me. So I'm going to go to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. All right. Now I'm going to try to trick you. And you're going to try to stay right in front of me. Have you guys noticed most of our screens are about maybe three or four steps long. So you're going to need to stay right with me. All right. Get ready. And... We're going to go this way. Ready? One, two, three. Try to stay in front of me. Two, three, one. One, two, two, one. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Try to stay right in front of me, okay? All right, now, if you got the idea, I'm going to pick a student. We're going to try to highlight them, and you get to lead us in this drill, and we're going to try to stay right in front of you. Who wants to be the leader for this first activity? Let's make sure we're showing discipline by trying our best during this one, too, okay? We're, we want to be right on task. All right, let's see. Mr. Pena, maybe you can pick somebody. Who's going to lead? All right, Sadie Mari, you're going to be moving side to side. We're going to try to stay in front of you. Are you ready? And all right, Mari, it's all you. Go, ma'am. Not bad. All right, Mr. Pena is going to pick somebody else. We're going to try to stay right in front of you. All right, let's see. Good job, ma'am. All right, and oh, Drayton, it's on you. Ready? Go, sir. Moving left or right. We got to stay on you. There you go. Now, just to get you thinking and moving, we're gonna add in a duck this time. So what's gonna happen as this person moves to the side, sidestepping, they might add in a duck. And if they duck, then you have to duck. If they jump, they have to, you have to jump too, okay? So we're gonna add in a jump, we're gonna add in a duck and a sidestep. Everybody got the idea? All right, let's see if you can do it. Ready? Who can lead us? I'm gonna show you what I want. So we're gonna be going like this, follow me. One, two, three, two. So you can add in a duck or a jump at any time, okay? Ready? Who can lead us moving side to side, duck or jump? Let's see, Elliot. All right, Elliot, it's all up to you. All right, ready, go, sir. Get out in a jump or a duck. Okay, nicely done. Three, two, a one, and very good. All right, guys, all right, we're gonna turn it back this way, so thank you so much. Um, we're gonna do a little game. All right, using those movements, side to side, duck or jump. You're gonna see the stick go down here, and that means you have to move to the side. Okay, if it goes back down, you have to move to the other side. If it goes like this, you have to uh, duck. And if it goes like this, you have to jump. Let's practice. Ready? Go. Move to the side. Ready? Duck. Jump. Side. Other side. Ready? Duck. Duck. Jump. Jump. Move to the side. And again, move to the side. Nicely done. All right, we're ready this time. So let's gonna go over that step today. So we're working on a side step, but we don't usually use that when we're doing martial arts quite as much. Um, we usually make it look a little bit more like this because we're moving in a circle, all right, when we're sparring. So I'm gonna work on how to do that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna move in a circle today. So when you're gonna look down, hands up. I'm gonna move out with this foot. You're gonna swing it to the outside of the screen. Okay, like this, so I'm swinging it. And then as I swing it, what I wanna do is I wanna move this one back. And then I'm gonna step out again with that same foot until I'm starting to make kind of a circle and my one foot is leading me around. So for me, it's my right leg. For you, it might be a different leg, but I always try to use one leg to lead yourself around. Now, if you notice, if you're making that leg too heavy by bending your knee too much, now it becomes a slow, slow leg. So for it to be fast, we wanna keep our weight pretty much in the middle. Even though I'm moving both legs, my leg that's moving not keeping too much weight on it, okay? How fast can you get around? Let's have a race, ready? Then addition. We see who can be the first person to get back to where you began. On your mark, get set, ready, go. One, two, three, four, and back. 
All right, who's there? I think Chase did it that time. Good job, my man. Nice job, Chase. Chase, us in the house. The house of fast feet. Nice job. Okay, we're going to move the opposite way. So let's get ready and move to the left. Okay, ready? Or whatever direction you're going to be. Yeah. So ready, move. And that foot has to move. Who's the first one facing me again? Let's try it again. I couldn't tell. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. Uh, let me see here. Oliver is pretty fast. I, I couldn't tell on that one. Okay, now we got that circle step down. Our next one this time, we're gonna work on how to do a step like you see in fencing. This is a front leg shuffle step. So my front leg shuffle step, I'm pushing off and then I'm going forward, watch me. So I'll do it this way, this way to the other side. I'm taking my weight, I'm pushing off and it's moving my whole body forward. And I can use this one to punch or I can use this one to strike with my back hand, okay? So let's see if we can do that. Hands up, get ready. Show me how to pick up your front leg. Move yourself forward. Now make sure when you do this that you don't let your nose go past your toes. So even though we're moving forward, I wanna make sure I keep my body back behind my knee. Watch again. Body back behind my knee and then gonna punch with either hand. All right, let's have a game. Get close to your camera as you can until you can touch it with your hand, but don't really touch it with your hand because you don't want fingerprints on there. Nobody wants peanut butter and jelly on their camera. All right, now let's go ahead. And what I want you to do is take one, two, Three steps back. Now, once you take three little steps back, I wanna see who can be the first person to reach their camera when I say go. So I'm gonna do a countdown. I'm gonna say three, two, one. And you try to touch your, towards your camera, but don't really touch it. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Who got it? All right, let's try again. I think Andrew got it. All right, ready? Reach towards your camera. And which step am I using? I'm using that front leg shuffle step. Watch me. Boom, you see how my body is moving forward? My front leg like this, watch how fast it goes. Uh, boom, like this. It's a lot faster than going one, two, okay? I'm doing all this instead of doing one, two steps, I'm doing in how many? One step, okay? So I'm covering the same amount of distance, it's just a lot faster. On your mark, get set, ready, go! All right, now, all right, I think, uh, I think Coco got it. Now, I want to see you be the first person to get back to where you were. So we're three steps away, remember that, three steps back. So we're going to go towards the camera and we meet back on our set point. You ready, team uplift? Are you ready, teammates? All right, let's get ready, team. On your mark, get set, go. Towards the camera and back. Try to do it in one step. It took me two. Okay, ready? Really push off. Boom. And back. Now, the key, you got to use the muscles in the back of your leg. You guys notice there's a calf muscle back here. You see, like you have this calf and you want to push, okay? So the muscle I'm using, I'm having to everybody go like this. Stand on your toes. Follow your foot up like this. Five seconds, four, three. Lift your heels off the ground. Lift your heels up. All right, good like this. Come on. This goes, you gotta use that. Now push, one leg only, go, come on. Like this, like you're dancing, go. All right, come on, give me some dance moves. One, two, three. All right, so when you're moving, you gotta use that. Okay, let me see you go like this, like you're Elvis or something. Go, ready, go, get that leg moving like this. All right, oh, ho, ho, ho. right? <laughs> That's my Elvis impersonation. So when you're gonna push off that back leg, okay? And as you're doing, I'm gonna do like a front stance and you'll notice it moves you where? And it moves you forward, okay? So let's see if you can use that push off. Move yourself forward. All right, one more time. On your mark, get set, touch the screen, go. And bring it back. Woo, nice job. Again, touch the screen, bring it back. Now, we're going to do that same motion. We're going to do it with the front hand and the back hand. So we're going to go like this. A one, two, bring it back. All right, ready? Move forward. A one, two, bring it back. And everybody get down. Push your position and hide. And back up, ready? A one, two, bring it back. Push your position and hide. Bring them back. A one, two, push up position and hide. Everybody got the idea? So it's a one, two, and hide. Ready, go. Double punch. One, two, and get down and hide. And back up. Ready, double punch. One, two, get down and hide. Ready, and double punch. One, two, get back down and hide. Ready, one, two, get back down and hide. Ready, one, two, get back down and hide. Keep going, there you go. Three seconds, one, two, get back down and hide. One, two, get back down and hide. There you go. All right, good, good, good. All right, so everybody show me that step we worked on. So show me how to do a shuffle step forward. Okay, like this, watch me again. Shuffle step forward, shuffle step back. Now we're gonna work on a, uh, a double step, okay? So the difference between a shuffle and a double step is this time my back foot is moving and my front foot is moving immediately after it. So like this, you see what I'm doing? So I didn't go like this, I went like this. Could anybody see the difference in your head? The shuffle step, I'm taking a movement with my back leg and that's pushing me to the front. 
on a double step up, I'm thinking just two steps. One, two. But if you notice, my feet are not crossing. I'm not going one, two. Dan, let me show you again. I'm not going step crossing, step out. I'm doing a little skip. Can you guys show me? Hands up. Show me how to double step up towards the screen. Ready? Double step up. And step back. So I want you to practice. One, two. A one, two. Okay? Who can show me that? Three seconds of that. Double step up, double step back. Double step up, double step back. All right, now, everybody hands ready? We're going to add in one more kind of movement. I'm going to switch feet. Now, a lot of you probably think, I know how to switch feet. But do you? Let's see if you know how. I'm looking for something very specific. Everybody show me how to switch feet. Now, I see a lot of this. Now, watch me. I see a lot of this. And you notice you're switching feet, but it's a little slow because you're up in the air too long. So believe it or not, when we switch feet, the faster we get back down to the ground or the faster we don't even take our feet off the ground, the better. Let me show you. The way to do that, take this foot and slide it back. Watch me. Everybody say, slide it back. Everybody think about being a bull. You guys ever seen a bull get ready to charge? Woo! Where's the beef? Right? <laughs> like this, right? <laughs> there you go. So get ready. Think about like a bull kind of sliding his foot back like this, okay? And everything. Woo! All right. <laughs> We're gonna learn how to move today. All right, get ready? All right, now take this one back. And now I want you to take this one, I want you to push it forward at the same time like this. Like uh, anybody ever gone to a nice walk in the park and uh, you accidentally stepped in some, well, I'm not gonna tell you what sometimes you step in when you're walking at the park after people don't clean up after their doggies. But imagine that that happened. And you know, it's happened to all of us, right? So when you take this leg and kind of act like you're wiping off your foot. So think about pulling one leg back like you're a bull. And um, take one leg, push it forward like you're wiping off your shoe. And, oh, whoa, <laughs> did you guys see what happened? I suddenly switched feet. So show me how to slide one back, push one forward. Ready, go. Slide and push. Slide and push. Again, slide one back, push it forward, and back. Woo! Isn't that slide a lot better now? Do you guys see the difference? So I'm going to show you two. You tell me which is right. This one or this one. A or B. Which one's right? Give me letters with your hands. Give me letters with your hand. Give me letters with your hand. Which one's right? The right answer is doo -doo -doo -doo. A. A. Got it? Got it? All right, everybody, hands up. So we're going to have a test. Show me how to do a front shuffle step, backward shuffle step, front shuffle step, okay, back shuffle step. Or kind of slide to the front, slide to the back. Show me how to step to the right, how to step to the left. Show me how to double step up, double step back. And now, show me how to do the one we worked on, switch. And switch. Now show me how to do a backward leg slide with your knee up. So instead of shuffling, we're gonna do a back leg slide. And this one is the one we worked on it with your sparring drill. It's a back leg slide. Who can show me that? Show me a slide with your back leg. Ready, go. Slide. Who can push? Can anybody do it? So the key is this. You got to keep your ball of the foot on the ground, but you got to keep your heel off. So when you do this, as your knee picks up, you're just lifting your heel off for just a little bit, and then you're using your leg muscles to push you this way. So I have an idea. Why don't we meet in the middle of our screen, and we're going to try to slide off our screen, okay? And one slide. Who thinks they can do it? Don't fall, okay? Don't fall in your donuts or your tukas. Please be careful. Ready, go. Slide away to the side. Let's see. Slide to the side. Slide to the side. Anybody got it? So push off that back leg and slide to the side. Excellent. All right, everybody. So uh, we're going to get ready. And we're going to work on some sparring drills today. So we're going to get ready. Hands up like this. Uh, I want you to think about what we worked on today. And show me a front leg kick. Show me a leg, uh, front kick with your front leg. If say front leg, show me a kick with your back, front kick with your back, back leg. Now, who thinks that that's so easy? If that's easy, raise your hand. Say, I got it. All right, good. Now, Brian, here's what we're going to do. All right, we're going to get our hands up. Ready, Brian? And we're going to do a front kick. But I want you to try to make this front kick a little better. Uh, we're going to do a double step up into the front kick. So we're going to do a stepping up front kick. Who can show me? Watch. Step up, front kick. Remember that double step? Well, now instead of taking a second step where I went like this, now what I'm doing is I'm kicking. Show me that. Go, guys. Double step front kick. Boom. Step up and kick. Now, where do we keep our hands? 
You keep your hands up. Let's see it again. Step up and front kick. Step up and front kick. Now, who thinks they could do this one? It's a really tricky one. Who thinks they could do a double step back? Watch me, like this. You remember how we did this? Who thinks they could double step back and do a front kick? Let me show me that double step back and do a front kick. All right, let's see if we can move out to the side and do a front kick. Ready? Move to the side and do a front kick. Watch again. So I'm moving to the side and I'm doing a front kick. You can show me that one. All right, hands up. Let's see a number one round kick with your front leg. Maybe show me a number one round kick with your front leg. Show me a number one. Show me a number two. Now, who could do that double step up and do a round kick? Watch this. On this one, I do have to step in front. Now, I know I told you don't cross your legs, but if you're kicking sometimes, it is okay. So if I'm kicking, I'm gonna step up. I'm gonna kick out like this. Let's see again. So I'm stepping up, but I'm offline. I'm not stepping my feet together like I you know, have to use the restroom. I wanna step out to the outside like this so my legs are a little bit apart. And then throw my round kick. Let me see you guys do that again. So step up and round kick, go. And again, so I'm taking back leg, stepping up and round kick. Now try to make it all in one motion. Watch me. You see us all launching at the same time? Boom, who can show me? Anybody got it? Andrew's got it down, there you go. And Nalia, Angel, looking good on that. Nice job. All right, let's go and work on jump kicks. Show me a number one jump round kick. This is your front leg kicking. So on a number one jump round kick, it's different from pop up. I'm using the leg in front. So I'm gonna jump up and round kick. Now show me the second one, pop up jump round kick. Easy, right? Now show me how to do a jumping double step up round kick or a number three jump round kick. So my knee's gonna come up this time, but instead of being on the ground, it's in the air. Show me that. Who can do that flying jump round kick? If you're a red belt, you should be really good at this because it's in your form. Chung Chung Two has that jump round kick. Everybody show me that one. Jump round kick goes up and out. So we're working a knee up, turning into a round kick. So we're gonna go up like a front kick, turn it over like a round kick, and that's a jump round kick. Got it? Nice. Cool. All right, so now that we've worked on that, I'm gonna get your hands ready. We're gonna work on a little bit of a blocking movement drill. So hands up, watch me. Now you're gonna to wanna to know this for graduation. Um, I'm gonna do an attack, okay, I'm gonna do an attack and you have to figure out a movement to escape. Ready? And I'm gonna figure out who moved right. So if I'm doing a punch towards you, who can figure out a good movement to defend? Ready, go. All right, uh, who can think of a good movement? Let me see here. You know, I saw some of you either did a block, an foreign block, or some of you did a punch, and I think that works pretty well. Um, I think the movement we can add into a punch coming at us would be either moving to the side, or stepping forward, remember? Everybody show me that shuffle step at an angle. Okay, ready, go. Shuffle step off line and block, okay? Again, watch this. Shuffle step off line and block. Now, what I want you to do is think about doing a kick back at me. Ready, go. Good, all right, hands up. Let's practice again. This time I'm gonna do an attack. You think of a defense and a movement. If I round kick, what do you do? All right, if I do a side kick, what do you do? Let's think. What could you do? You might do a low block and what would you do? Ready, go. Low block counter kick. All right, how about I do a uh, hooking punch? What movement would you do? Ready, go. All right, some of you guys are ducking. Yeah, you could, you could do that weaving motion. All right, let me show you guys some, some other movements we can do. Uh, so we can do something called a weave. Everybody follow me or a duck? Like this, so I'm going down and up. Okay, down and up. So if it's going high to my head, I can do this weaving motion or I can bob. Left, bob, right. And the idea of bobbing, if you guys notice, have you guys ever seen something bobbing up and down in the water? Okay, that's a word for up and down, right? So the idea is that I'm moving up and then down, up and then down, do you guys see that? So show me how to bob and weave, weave. And now that also takes me back into my blocks, right? It would show me how to weave, I'm sorry, how to, how to bob down and block. Bob to the other side and block. Bob to the other side, low block. Other side, low block, right? Crossing, crossing. So I'm gonna do a little challenge. You're gonna do three moves sparring segment of your own. I'm gonna find the best one I saw in the class. You have to make up your own moves. Hands up, choose three moves, and I'm gonna try to spotlight the winner. And then they're gonna show us and we're all gonna do their combo. So make up your best combo. On your mark, get set, make it up. Go kids. I'm gonna find the one I, I thought was the coolest sparring combo. Be creative, you only get three moves, so don't make it too complicated. 
All right, it looks like I'm gonna give this one to Layla. And Layla, go ahead and tell us the moves. Shout it out loud. Um, round kick versus hook kick and butterfly kick. All right, everybody try that. Ready, go. Show us again, Layla. Round kick versus hook kick and butterfly. Nice, so Layla, nice job. Everybody else, show me another sparring combination. I'll find the best one I saw. Ready? And go, make up your own sparring moves. Good. All right, I really liked Ulla's kicks. Ulla, can you show us the kicks you chose? Round kick. Uh-huh. And side kick. Ooh, nice. Round kick, jump round kick, and side kick. Can I see you guys try that one? Ready? And go, everyone. Wow. That's really nice, Ella. I thought that would be a tricky one to block because those kicks went to the same place twice, okay? Because uh, she did the round kick and the jump round kick. Uh, anybody else want to show us one? Let me see. All right, guys. Uh, we will find somebody new. All right, ready? Show me your best sparring combination. All at the same time, we'll spotlight somebody. Go. Who's got a – ooh, I see a good one from Amrit and Gabriel. Wow. All right, guys, I see some really creative combinations. Amrit, show us the Amrit combo. Outside crescent kick, inside, and but Ooh, whoa, I'm ripped. That was a sweet combo. All right, show me that again, friend. Say the moves. Inside. Outside. Inside, butterfly. Inside, outside, inside, butterfly. Okay, can you guys all show me that? Ready, go. Inside. Outside. Inside, butterfly. <laughs> Who feels like you're a windshield wiper when you do that? Have you guys ever seen your car's windshield wiper? I think that combination is inspired by windshield wipers all over the world. All right, who else can show me an aspiring combination that you came up with today? Uh, and then we'll battle our aspiring combinations, all right? Um, show me your best. Go, everybody. Show me a cool combo. Adding in movement. Add in movement. All right, Coco, I think, got it. Coco added an awesome movement. And let's see. Go, Coco. Explain what to do. Uh, you're unmuted now. There you go. Round kick, reverse side kick, and then inside crescent kick. Can you guys do that? Everybody go try it. Wait, are there, are there actually real kicks? Yep. <laughs> nice. All right, very good, guys. All right, so we're going to finish with a little fun activity here. Um, before I turn you over to Mr. Pina, I want you guys, hands up like this, sparring stance. We're gonna do 30 seconds of nonstop sparring action. You're gonna inspire me, I'm gonna inspire you. And of course, it's gonna be virtual reality. Okay, get ready. And let's go, go. You have to add a movement because I'm gonna be moving offline. Let's go, you gotta try to catch me. Go, come on. Come on, let's spar, keep going. Oh, you guys got me there. Oh, another one to the head. All right, keep going, go. Come on, nice job, keep going, let's go. Look for openings. Oh, come on, I saw your opening, you guys dropped your hands there. Come on, keep your hands up. Keep going, keep going, 10 seconds. I want you guys to show me how to use some of those movements we did. All right, ready? We're gonna do a little round, see who got there first. Stop there. When I say go, we're both gonna attack. Whoever gets their first wins, on your mark. Ready, go. You can choose any attack. On your mark, ready, go. You can choose any attack. On your mark, ready, go. On your mark, ready, go. Ooh, all right, good job, guys. All right, nice work. We're going to turn back to Mr. Pina here to get ready for your weapon. So hopefully you guys had a good sparring class today. Um, let's review really quickly before I turn you over. Show me how to do a shuffle step. Remember, show me the shuffle step forward, shuffle step back, step to the side, step to the other side. So again, shuffle step forward, shuffle step back, step to the right, step to the left. Double step up, double step back. Sliding forward, sliding back. And switch, switch, okay? Can you guys do all of those movements? How about I give you guys a little challenge? Show me your best shuffle forward, shuffle back, switch feet, switch feet, shuffle forward, shuffle back, step to the side, step to the side. Hands up, slide forward, slide back, Shuffle forward, duck, bob, bob, and weave, weave, or duck, okay? 
All right. And we'll turn things over to Mr. Pena. We'll switch places here. Hi, everybody. So you guys are going to need a uh, pair of nunchucks here. We're going to be using one today. I'm going to be going over different ways that we can be using our nunchucks. We're going to be going over some traditional ways we've used it, and we're going to explore some different ways as well. So go ahead, grab your nunchuck. If you don't have a uh, sanjubang, you guys can use a long sock. You can even take a belt, fold it in half, or you can even use your imagination. But uh, make sure we have something that we can practice with. So uh, right now, let's go ahead and hold in the middle, and let's warm up our wrist like this, shaking side to side really fast. All right, so now here, we're going to go ahead and let go of one side and start making circles out in front of us. I want you guys to go so fast that you can blow me backwards. Whoa! <laughs> All right, now let's take our weapon above our head and show me above the head circles. Make sure you don't go too fast this time because you might fly away. All right, now let's try off to the side here. Circles off to the side. All right, now here what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one and we're gonna go hip, circle, hip. So we're gonna go hip to hip, but we're doing circles in between. Everyone watch me here. Nice, like this. All right. Cool. So let's go ahead, uh, rest it up onto our shoulders here. Let's go ahead and work on that hip, hip and back up. So this is our triangle strike. Now there's two ways of doing this. Actually, there's three ways of doing this and I'll show you guys all three. So the first one you guys are probably most used to, which is just hip, hip and straight up. That's one way. And another way you guys are used to is hip, hip, circle up. So those are the two main ways we do it. Either hip, hip up or hip, hip, circle up. But I'm gonna show you guys a third way to do a triangle strike, which I'm gonna have you guys practice today. We're gonna to be going hip, hip. And now what I'm gonna do is instead of going up to my shoulder, I'm gonna go up and circle above my head back and do hip, hips. So watch this, hip, hip, big lasso, hip, hip, big lasso. So these are your lasso triangle strikes or your over the head triangle strikes. Nice. Can you guys show me over the head here? Nice. I'm seeing a lot of people getting them down really well. Good job. Overhead, overhead. That's like this. All right, let's go here this way and let's go. Everyone show me middle stance. I'm going to show you guys something. If I have my legs straight and I go to do V strikes, does everyone see how uh, my legs are kind of straight down this way? I can't, if I wanted to, I can't make my legs flat. So watch, if I were to put my nunchucks on my leg, they'll slide down right off. But if I make a middle stance, everyone watch this, it flattens out the top part of your leg. You guys might be able to balance your weapon on your leg. You guys see? So when it's flat, you're able to hit your leg easier and have faster V strikes. Because if your legs are straight, it's a lot easier to accidentally hit your knee and that hurts. So if we bend our legs and our legs become flat, we're able to do our V strikes much smoother. So for our V strikes, it starts at our shoulder, it goes straight down, to the same leg or the same side, and then across to our other shoulder, and then it goes back to the same leg and back up. So you're just going the same leg and switching shoulders. And these are your V strikes. If you had paint on the end of your nunchucks, it would paint the letter V. That's why we call them V strikes. Nice, go ahead, keep going back and forth. You guys can either go straight up and down or on the way back up, you can do a circle. If you want a real challenge, you can circle down, circle up, circle down, circle up, but that's really, really tough. All right, so everyone, let's go back and set this way. Now I'm gonna show you guys some of the different ways that we can do our, uh, our weapons. So I'm gonna show you guys uh, our one through nine strike that you guys are very used to. So everyone, uh, up at our shoulder here, I'm gonna switch so I can mirror it for you guys. And we're gonna go here, we're gonna go one, like this, two. Oh, that's not a two, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven up eight down, and then our nine poke. You guys are very used to this way, but I'm gonna show you guys a different way. I'm gonna show you a way that works best for striking. So this way, the way I just showed you guys, works best for smooth motion and kind of building into like combos of forms. But I'm gonna show you guys the one through nine strike that's meant for striking. Now, I'm gonna bring out a bag, but you guys don't need to hit anything, and I don't want you guys to hit anything. But I have a bag here, so I'm gonna show you guys what this does. So you guys are gonna just do this in air for now, and I'm gonna do it in air with you for a minute. But for your first strike, your one strike, you guys want to be able to go to your hip 
and rotate your body like this. So instead of just your arm, you want to rotate. And when it lands, you want to catch it. So I'll show you in slow motion here. As I do my one strike, I swing and I catch just like this. And what this does is watch. If I go to my target, I hit across and now I'm able to catch. Now what I'm gonna do after I catch, everyone lift above your shoulder on your other side now and you're going to do your two. And it's gonna stop back like normal. Now when we do our three, we want to start across and we want to think about rotating all the way. And look, I catch it again. So one, catch over your shoulder. Two, three, catch. Then you show me your four that goes back. Nice, now your five comes up like this and it gives a good strike over here. And then your six, you're gonna start at your hip. So everyone, after that five, lower up to your hip this way so you're catching it. And your six is gonna come up like this. Everyone show me that catch and six strike. Now, your seven up and eight downs are even different, watch. Instead of doing my whole arm like this and flowing smooth, I'm actually gonna keep it close to my body. I'm gonna focus on this circle motion here. Because if I can do a big circle up, I can turn this into this. Oh, I missed mine. Like that. It's able to smoothly strike your target here. So think about doing a quick circle up. And your eight down does the same thing. Instead of a big swing down like this, you do a quick circle down. And you want it to land under your arm like this. So who can practice it like that? Everyone show me a circle down. Go slow and try and get it under your arm and catch it with your arm so it stays trapped. Circle down and catch it under your arm. And I'll show you why we do this. Because if you can get it under your arm, our nine poke is definitely the most different. From here, what you guys are gonna do is think about sending a punch out. So when it's under your arm, you don't wanna catch it together here, but you wanna think about having a punch and it'll extend out forward. So have it under your arm. And our last strike, our nine poke is a punch out, just like this. Nice. All right, now I'm gonna do this all in air with you guys. So everyone ready? Let's go ahead, up at our shoulder. This will be the last time we do this here. Let's go one, catch. Lift to your shoulder. Two, three, catch. Let's go four. Now five, start low, five like this. Now lower it down to your hip, get ready. And show me six. Now seven up, remember we go quick. Seven up. Eight down, catch under your arm, and nine poke. Think about doing a punch. Aya! And then from here, you can go ahead, catch back in the center. Nice. Who had fun learning both kinds of strikes? Because now you know the one through nine for striking and for form. So you guys can do lots more stuff in your freestyles, including this underarm nine strike. That's always a fun one to do. But uh, that is an, all the time we have for class, actually. So I'm going to bow you guys out to put our weapons away. I'm going to hand you over to Mr. Jung really quick in case we have any. Uh, end of class announcements, but everyone's standing at set. Should you? Can you? A T A. All right, and I'll pass you guys. Thank you, John. Um, yeah. So um, that was an awesome segment led by Mr. Pena on your sunshine balls, nunchucks. Um, really quickly before you guys go, I would like you to really quickly show me your form. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what you've been practicing. So even if you only know a couple of moves, that's totally fine. If you don't remember your form, make something up. Okay, this is a time just to make something up. So ready? You can show me your coolest combo. But all I want to see is I want to see you. So you show me something cool. All right, ready? On your mark, it should be for your form or your combo. Show me what you got. Ready? Get set and go. Show me your form or show me something cool. And if you don't have something cool to show me, show me your pets because those are always cool. All right, but try to finish your form first. Come on. Let's see who can do your form for me. Nice job, Shane, looking good. Mr. Black Belt Swan, looking good over there. Good job. Sean, looking good. Gabriel. All right. And thank you, everybody. All right. Um, Good job. I saw some of you guys did your own combinations too. All right, so thank you. Uh, really quickly, I do have a couple of announcements. Our first one is this Monday, we're gonna be doing for the first time ever, after classes get done, we're doing a Zoom party. That's right, everybody. We're gonna party, okay? Uh, we're gonna do a little Zoom games uh, after class gets done. We're gonna do like a really fun activity after classes get done for 10 minutes. So make sure you come to class Monday because you're not gonna wanna miss our uh, Monday fun day. 
on Tuesday. We're doing Talent Tuesday. And this Tuesday is what talent? Does anybody know? You have to draw me a, well, you don't have to draw me that day, but you can show me artwork. You can show me a picture you've drawn or like a painting you've done. I know some of you have been doing class with Ms. Matias, so you can show off some of your artwork you did, you did there. Or if you'd like to, you can show off like an art project you did from school, anything like that. Um, if you'd like to do a different talent, you can still do singing or some kind of physical skill. Like Coco did a backflip. Remember Coco did like 10 backflips. All right, uh, and then I think uh, like Sadie and Mari played guitar, okay? Uh, so, um, also on Wednesday, we're doing Wacky Wednesday. Who knows what we're going to wear for Wacky Wednesday? Who remembers? Your silliest PJs, your silliest pajamas. So I want to see you wear your silliest pajamas on Wednesday. So I know that shouldn't be that hard. You guys probably have a lot of pajamas. Uh, on Thursday, we're doing Throwback Thursday. And Throwback Thursday this week is bringing me a picture of you when you were a white belt. So yeah, I want to see back when you guys were tiny, tiny white belts. All right? Like, I remember when Andrew looked more like Aaron. <laughs> I remember when, uh, when Ella was, like, I think uh, about the same height as Brendan back when she started. And I remember, let me see, I remember, uh, well, Ryan was only a couple months ago. <laughs> so, yeah, bring me baby you. Uh, and then uh, that's all of our announcements for this week. Um, graduation will be planned uh, coming up in May. So stay tuned for more information about that. We might end up having to do our first online virtual graduation. So uh, we'll stay tuned to find out. Now, if not, hopefully we'll be back in class maybe and we can do graduation for you guys here at the school. We, we don't know yet. All right. Uh, also, last of all, if you need help in your form, one of two things are available to help you. First thing, you can go on to our app, My Studio, that your parents probably have on their phone or you might have on your phone and click on the videos and documents section, the videos and docs, all right? D-O-C-S, like doctor, only abbreviated for, for documents, which is paper. Uh, and the, your form are going to be on there, okay? So you guys can watch all of your form videos, and uh, it's taught by us, okay? Your instructors are teaching your form online there. Um, if you'd like a private class with me, schedule a private class for uh, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. We will be working on whatever you need help with, and it doesn't even have to be martial arts. Um, I know some of you have had maybe just kind of a rough week, and if you just need to talk to me for 15 or 20 minutes um, and just get some advice or sometimes just hear somebody else um, that that cares, then I'm here, okay? Uh, so if you guys wanna just um, have 15 minutes with your instructor, it can be about anything. Heck, if you'd like to just like tell me a story, I'll listen to a story, <laughs> And it's completely free, so it only costs you a smile, okay? So if you guys want a private class, set that up. Um, I'm doing those Monday through Thursday. Nice smile, Drayton. Um, all right, so if you forgot what our next week looks like, just look it up online. You guys can do that. Um, and I will see you soon, all right, everybody? So put your paws up. All right, ready? Team up, dog. Team uplift. Ready? Put your paws up. All right, let me hear you say, ow! Again, ow! All right. <laughs> oh, wait. Brenda and Ella have the real up dog. Let's spotlight this guy. <laughs> All right, hold on. All right, Brenda and Ella, what's your, uh, what's your dog's name? Oh, you got two dogs. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> we actually have three. Oh, you guys yeah, have three. It's so adorable. Oh my gosh. Aren't those guys cute, everybody? Yes, they're oh, so adorable. That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should have a pet day, guys. What do you guys think? You guys want to have a pet day? Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. Can I can I show you my, my dog? Yeah, if you guys want to show me your pets, you guys can. I'll I'll unmute everybody so it might get a little loud. Let me highlight Brian. So you can say something. Brian's golden. Brian. Brian. Oh, I see him in the practice. That's so funny. You got a cute show, you guys. That's Brian's dog. Honda shoe. Anybody else? I see a cat. Ooh, the stand up to the cat. Right. Oh, with the cat. And ooh, I think we're headed to Drayton's house to see Drayton and his dog. Right. Donuts, pumpkin. This is my dog, pumpkin. Oh, pumpkin. She does not like to chew. She does not like to bark, but she does act like a humongous dog. Oh, like a pumpkin. <laughs> is that why you named her that? She's kind of almost the color of a pumpkin, just a little bit. You know. Yeah, we named her pumpkin because we adopted her, 
so that was oh. her adopted oh, name. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't have in the pet. We oh, keep we're going to keep it. It's close uh, to all sober. Wait, is that a snake at the Hinoise's house there? Wow, that's yeah. amazing, Jason. I'm so glad I got to meet Pumpkin. Yeah. The, the, uh, the, they got a snake. Uh, snake. Oh. Whoa, I did not know you guys had a snake. Yeah. Wow. What's your snake's name, guys? Uh, Jackie and Big Warm. Oh, yeah, that's so cool. All right, uh, before we get to Chase and Gabriel, we're going to tune in to meet Rosie. All right, hello, Rosie. It's been a while. That's Rosie, the Swan family's doggo. The other Mr. Swan, there's three Mr. Swans. I mean, oh, wait, Miss Swan, the other Miss Swan. Diane, Selena, and Rosie Swan. Uh, you just ran away for no reason. We get to Chase really quick. We got Chase. And Chase, who's this? Aww. She's okay. She's adorable. Oh, yeah? Let's see him a little closer. That's super cool. All right, uh, let me see. Okay. Else. Gabriel. All right, I'll let Brendan, I'll get right to you guys. Um, Gabriel, what's up? Let's see. Oh my gosh, she's as big as you. Is, that a, is he a poodle? He looks like he's practicing martial arts with you. All right, I'm going to mute you guys and I'm going to unmute. Uh, let's see here. Um, I'm going to unmute Allah and Brendan. So, yeah, what's up, guys? We had a dog named Rosie, and we had a dog named Crowley, and really? we had a dog named Kona. Kona? That's a good name for a dog. I like that. That's really cool. It sounds like a lot of us have dogs with some similar names. Um, let's see. I was told in was named Backy. She's named Bessie, and the schnauzer's name is Lexi. Oh, you guys are so good at naming pets. All right, I'm going to switch over here to Drayton. And yes, Drayton. Hello, what's up? I have a cat, and he is very afraid of me. You know how cats just have four fingers on each paw? Yeah. Five on mine. Really? I hear that's He's a pterodactyl. He's a pterodactyl. Pterodactyl. Oh. I said pterodactyl. That means you could get him a cat glove. He could probably wear cat gloves since he has five fingers. All right. Uh, anybody else? All right. Brian. Yes, Brian. Hello, hello. I have I have a cat too. Oh, I I didn't meet your cat yet. I've just seen your dog. Okay. okay. Can I show you? Yeah, of course. It's upstairs. Okay.